Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this lab, we will configure loopback interfaces on two routers, R1 and R2. Loopback interfaces are logical interfaces, meaning that they are not interfaces that physically exist on the router. They can be used for testing purposes, among others. Another important characteristic is that a loopback interface never goes down, unlike a physical interface which can fail. Loopback interfaces are something we'll be using a lot in future labs, so I want to use this simple lab to introduce them. Try to complete the lab on your own first, then continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. Step 1 is to set the IP addresses of the interfaces connecting the two routers, and to enable them. Let's hop on R1 first. Enable ConfT. Both routers are connected using their GIG00 interfaces, so interface GIG00. Now let's set the IP address. IP address 192.168.1.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Okay, now we have to enable the interface. No shutdown. There we go, R1 is done. Now let's go to R2. Enable conf t interface G00. IP address 192.168.1.2 255.255.255.0. No shut. Okay, let's ping to check. Do ping 192.168.1.1. The ping works. Step two is to create a loopback interface on each router. 1.1.1.1 on R1 and 2.2.2.2 on R2. They should each use a slash 32 subnet mask which is equivalent to 255.255.255.255. Okay, let's go on R1. To create a loopback interface, just enter interface configuration mode for the loopback interface. Interface loopback zero. Note that you can shorten it to interface L0. So we have now created the loopback interface. The loopback interface is up by default and will never go down. However, you can still issue the shutdown command to administratively disable it. Now let's set the IP address. IP address 1.1.1.1, 255.255.255.255. Okay, now let's go on R2. Interface L0, IP address, 2.2.2.2, 255.255.255.255. We have successfully created a loopback interface on each device. Step three is to ping both the local loopback interface and the loopback interface of the remote device from each router. The router should be able to ping its own loopback interface with no issues by default. However, it has no way of knowing about the loopback interface of the remote router by default. The routers can ping each other's physical interfaces because they are part of a connected network which they share. However, the loopback interfaces are on separate networks. Because we haven't done any labs for IP routes yet, I pre-configured static routes on each router beforehand. This isn't a topic for this lab, but let me show you the IP route table. Let me hop on R1 and show IP route. You see here the C indicating connected of the 192.168.1.0 network and the L indicating local of the 192.168.1.1 address configured on the GIG00 interface. Above that is an S indicating static. This is the route I pre-configured to the loopback of R2. Also at the top is the loopback here on R1. Now let's try the pings, which both should be successful. 
First, the local loopback. Ping 1.1.1.1. It works. Now, R2s. Ping 2.2.2.2. It works as well. Now, let's do the same on R2. And ping 2.2.2.2. It works. Ping 1.1.1.1. It works as well. Step four is to remove the loopback interfaces. This is just to point out a difference between physical interfaces and loopback interfaces. You can't delete a physical interface using the command line. Let's confirm that. First on R2, conf t, no interface g00. We get the message, removal of physical interfaces is not permitted. Now let's do the same thing, add no in front of the interface command for loopback zero. First, however, let's use the do show IP interface brief command. There is gig zero zero, which we were unable to delete before, and loopback zero. Now let's try to delete it. No interface L zero. Do show IP interface brief. As you can see, we are able to delete loopback interfaces, and loopback zero is no longer listed here. Let's do the same on R1. Show IP interface brief. There's loopback zero. Conf T. No interface L0. Do show IP interface brief. We have successfully removed the loopback interface of each router. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comments section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.